out for a rest day. Let's hear from Joe Harris. Hey, Joe, from your your, your view, how did things get away from you uh, as a team for in that third quarter? Um, uh, I mean, I think it was just a multitude of things. Um, you know, I, I think initially, though, it starts on the defensive end. Um, you know, we only scored 24 points in the quarter, but and we gave up 37. Um, a lot of it was, I think, the, the defensive miscues probably led into bad offense as well. Um, and it was something that, you know, was addressed at halftime. And, you know, our sense of urgency just wasn't where it needed to be to start that third quarter. At the moment, you know, your size is your size. You know, the guys that you have out there, the guys that you have. So what will it take um, to see improvement, you know, on the defensive side? Um, I mean, it's tough because we don't have uh, a ton of practice time. We're really trying to put in a lot of stuff on the fly. But I think a lot of it is just individual pride. I think sort of everybody to a man has to kind of take a look at themselves and, you know, lock in, focus, be able to take ownership on that that end of the ball. Laura Albanese with Newsday. Hey, Joe. As Steve mentioned, pride, hustle, all these things when it comes to your defense. Do you really think that's the key to you guys improving? Or is there something schematically that you guys can change to improve in this area? No, I don't think it really matters what you drop at this point. If guys are not, you know, everybody's not bought in, everybody's not together, it's hard hard to win in this league, um, regardless of how much how much talent you have. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Joe. Considering this is uh, – you had a good look at this team two days ago, and I presume all of these things were probably discussed after the double overtime loss. I mean, is it a little bit more surprising, I guess, that it was – possibly even more of an issue two days later against the same team? Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I think, um, you know, tool man, everybody is, is very frustrated right now. Just, you know, you, we, we talked about a number of things yesterday, you know, in our film session and then even leading up to the game today, you know, obviously, like you mentioned, there was a lot of things that we addressed where we were trying to clean up and uh, you know, the, the stuff that we that we talked about was the stuff that uh, hurt us again um, tonight. You know, we just not enough. Uh, I don't know. The, the energy was definitely on, on their side, even even when it was close um, in the first half, and we never got it in our favor. We never really felt any momentum, and uh, you know, a lot of times I think that happens. You know, the def a lot of times defense gives you energy, so. Um, you know, when you're able to get stops, string them together, make some good defensive plays, you end up having a little bit more energy on the offensive end and vice versa. So, uh, you know, it, it is it is a very uh, frustrating thing, but, you know, we can't we can't sit here and, and dwell on it. It's, it's such a, a young or, you know, early point in the season. You know, the season is so young right now. We have so many games ahead of us and we got to stick together, um, you know, we got a game tomorrow that we got to lock in on and try and get ourselves right. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Joe, just like, what's it like to have two so new former teammates? Like, you were just playing with Jared and Torian a week and change ago, and now they come, now you play against them and uh, and they have pretty big games. What's it like to kind of have your old teammates have the performances they had uh, tonight against you? I mean, you wish that it wasn't um, against you, but, uh, you know, obviously you're happy for them. Those are guys that build up good relationships with, and that's just the, you know, that's the nature of the NBA. Um, you know, you play against a lot of guys that have been your teammates in the past, obviously not probably as quick as of a turnaround as this, um, but, um, you know, you still, you hope that those guys do well.